Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will review trig ratios. There are three basic trig ratios which form the foundation of trigonometry. They are the sine, the cosine, and the tangent. So say we're given a triangle as such. This is a 90 degree triangle with an unknown angle theta. Let's define this, the leg adjacent to this angle theta as A, the leg opposite of this angle as O, and the hypotenuse as H. Now the trig ratios play out like this. The sine of the angle theta is going to be equal to the opposite leg divided by the hypotenuse. The cosine of theta is going to be equal to the leg adjacent to that angle divided by the hypotenuse. And the tangent of theta is going to be equal to the leg opposite that angle divided by the leg adjacent to the angle. Now in high school, my algebra teacher taught me this story, this long drawn out story of the Indian chief, So Ka Toa. Yeah, the Indian's chief name was Soka Toa and he basically went on, he was the greatest chief of all time, he saved his tribe. Like I said, it was a long drawn out story, however, this story ingrained the basic trig ratios into my brain forever and it was a good thing so let me let me show you real quick I'm sure you can already see it how how Sokotoa relates to these trig ratios so is our trig ratio for sine it stands for s sine of theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse and you can play this out all the way across. The, the C is going to be for cosine and the T for tangent. The first term after the C and the T is what term is on top, which in the cosine case is going to be the adjacent side. And on the tangent case, it's going to be the opposite side. And the second term, or the third term, is uh, what is, uh, is uh, at the bottom of the uh is the bottom term. So in the cosine case it's the hypotenuse and then the tangent case it's the adjacent side. So Sokotoa. That's what I want you guys to remember to always uh, recall these trig ratios real quickly off the top of your head. Sokotoa. So say we're given um, a triangle. Let's look at an example here. Let's say we're given a triangle and we're asked to find an unknown side. Let's say that this angle here is 36 and that this is the opposite side O and that our hypotenuse is equal to um, 7. So the question is what is the length of the opposite side and the way to do that is just to recall Sokotoa. We're dealing with the opposite side and we have the def definition for the hypotenuse. So we're dealing with O and H. And going through Sokotoa, that the trig ratio that will fulfill and help us define this unknown sign, side is sine. So the sine of 36 is equal to the opposite over 7. Multiply by both sides by 7 we got 7 times sine of 36 is equal to the opposite leg. Plug that into your calculator real quick. We got the sine of 36 times 7 and that opposite side is going to equal 4.11. So O is going to equal 4.11. So what if we have a triangle and it uh, has the sides already defined but we don't know what the uh, angles are 
So let's look at an example of how we can find the angles within a triangle. Let's say we have a triangle that has a side 5 and the side opposite is, let's say that's uh, 8. This is a 90 degree triangle and we're asked to find theta. So once again we have the opposite side defined and we have the adjacent side defined. Going back to Sokoto, we know tangent will help us define what this unknown angle theta is. So we got the tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, 8 fifths. Now to, to get theta alone, we need to take the inverse tangent of each side. We got theta is equal to the t tangent, inverse tangent of 8 fifths. And whatever that is in your calculator, that will be what that unknown angle is. So let's look real quickly at a real world example of how you may find um, these trig, trig ratios uh, helpful. Let's say that we have a building right here. And this building is uh, just tall. And we have a 10 foot ladder that we're laying up against this building. So this is a ladder. And we know that this ladder is 10 feet. And and we know that it's, uh, let's say that it's uh, 6 feet away from the wall at the bottom. That we take a, a ruler or a measuring tape and we determine that it's 6 feet away from the wall. So what, what we need to know is what is theta? And that's what the question is asking. What is theta? And what we can do again, just like we did before, is uh, since we know this is going to be a, the building straight up and down, uh, it's a 90 degree triangle, and we can just use our trig ratios to determine what theta is. So in this case, we have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, and so we're going to use cosine. So the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Take the inverse cosine of each side to get uh, theta alone. And this time we can throw this in to our calculators. And we will find out real quickly that the, that uh, ladder is angled at an angle of 53 point one fifty three point one degrees so there's many other ways that uh, we might come across problems that uh, we could real quickly use the tr these trig ratios to determine uh, the answers say that somebody you know is on a cliff and uh, they're looking down and they see something that's say like 100 feet away and that they're here and at this point and they see an animal, say, 100 feet away. And the, they know how high they're on the cliff. Let's say they're 50, on a 50-foot cliff. Then we can just um, you know, use our trig ratios to, to determine angles. Or we can uh, determine the uh, hypotenuse or whatever we may want to determine from that. So... Uh, those are just real simple um, examples of problems using these trig ratios. So to finish this off, there are there are a couple other uh, trig ratios that I could define right before, just so you guys can see. And I won't go over any uh, examples using them, but uh, it, they're good to know. So we already have the sine, which is the sine of theta is equal to o over h opposite over hypotenuse. We got the cosine which is equal to a over h and we have the tangent of theta which is equal to the opposite over adjacent so there's also a reciprocal trig ratios and the first one is the cosecant which uh, looks like this so the cosecant is equal to 1 over sine of theta which is equal to h over o and then the second one is the secant which is, uh, you'll see it such as this, and that's the 1 over cosine of theta, and that's h over a. And then finally we got the cotangent, 
which is written as such and that's 1 over tangent of theta and that is adjacent over opposite. So once again if we're given a triangle we have some angle here and we have this side defined as A and we have this side defined as O and we have the hypotenuse and we're asked to find any of the trig ratios sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. We can go ahead and just plug in the uh, given values um, and determine what each of those values are. So that's it, guys. That's a quick review of trig ratios. I hope it uh, helped out a little bit. Um, certainly want to help guide you guys in the best direction that I'm able. So visit me over at engineerandtrainingexam.com and contact me through the contact form or subscribe to my free engineer and training exam uh, EIT preparation boot camp. Um, and I definitely love to talk to you and get to know you personally. So don't be afraid if you guys have any questions, suggestions, feedback, go ahead and contact me and uh, you'll definitely be getting involved.